if we progress in this life with soham sadhana and we reach some purity of our vasanas, let's say for 40%, okay? What are the chances that we will get the opportunity in the next life to clean the other 60%? Well, first of all, it's very much assured if you keep it up, you do it right, and you do it as much as you should. And especially the japa constant. You understand meditation is also creating karma. It's a kriya. Kri means to act. Kriya means a process. We speak of yogic kriyas, for example. So when you meditate, you're creating what we could call enlightenment karma. And when you're doing soham sadhana and therefore connecting right in directly with yourself, then it's really powerful karma. So two things may happen. One, you will come back, you will take up this practice, and you'll finish it in a subsequent life. But actually, if you're really applying yourself and you're really doing it, Gajananda Maharaj talks about this. You don't come back to this world. He doesn't mean you get perfect enlightenment so you don't come back. He meant you don't come back to this world, but you go to higher worlds and you don't fall back down from them. And there are worlds that are called tapalokas, worlds of tapasya, spiritual practice. And in those worlds, you meditate. In some worlds, the where it might be a little iffy, uh, a little lesser tapaloka, there'll be holy beings there to say, hey, hey, wait a minute. Don't you remember you meditated down there? Now, don't waste your time here. Meditate. And you can decide to meditate for a thousand years. Well, a thousand years of so on sadhana is going to get you pretty, pretty well on. In fact, it doesn't take that much. <laughs> Therefore, if you are faithful unto death, it says it in the Bible, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So if you are faithful unto death, you'll have only life. 